say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera. Say hello. Or just yawn. Or just yawn instead. Mwah. My little boy boy. My little boy boy. Go on then. Go on then. Disney World Tour, if you don't already know, if you don't follow my channel or Instagram or anything. Um, I went to Disney World last week, well two weeks ago, and I literally came back yesterday. But I've decided to do a video straight away because I really want to eat the snacks that I got before I start my diet. Because there is a lot of snacks here. So yeah, um, it's not a big Disney haul, not like the one I did a couple of years ago. Um, I did buy a lot when I went then. Um, I was a bit more restrained this time and actually spent most of my money on makeup instead. But there will be a separate haul for that. Um, so if you're interested in that then I will be uploading one in the next few days probably so yeah and that'll be Sephora, Ulta and Walmart and other bits and pieces but this is just a small Disney haul I wouldn't say it's it's big um, because there's only so much space you can put Disney things so yeah but I'm going to crack on to it anyway um, first off I'm going to start with Bazin which is a soap and like bath company where you can buy soap and that. It's a bit like Lush if you've ever been to Lush before. Um, I'd say it's actually a little bit more pricey than Lush if I'm being completely honest. But I know Lush is more expensive in the USA as well. As, but, um, I know it's a little bit cheaper in the UK. So yeah, um, I've got a couple of things out of there. I got myself a unicorn soap. I can't really smell any of them at the moment. They all smell the same because with all the bath bombs probably the strongest so it's kind of overpowered the two soaps that I brought but this was ten dollars and then obviously plus tax on top for this tiny little slice as you can see here but um I think it was like a fruity scent if I remember when I first brought it but um I can't I'm not gonna lie I did buy it because it was the rainbow <laughs> so it was a bit of an impulse look colour thing and then it's got like this unicorn thing on the top of it as well so yeah that was the first soap I got the second soap I got was a Mickey soap and this is like rainbow kind of colour pastel colours and it's just got rainbow Mickey, um, Mickey heads on the top of it yeah it just smells like the bath bomb it's the same I can't really give you the scent um, but this was $12.40 and, and this was again another popular soap they had there so I decided to get a chunk of that and I hope that this will last me a while so you can always cut it up into little pieces so yeah and then the last thing I got from there was a bath bomb which is really 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 strong and it just smells like strawberries and cream if that's probably the best scent to tell you and this when this is in the bath it will give you little mickey heads like little confetti mickey heads so yeah I'm gonna leave it in there until I use it so yeah then moving on to the thing that everyone seems to want when they go to Disney World at the moment and that is the rose gold ears. I wasn't actually going to buy these because I already ordered some from Etsy which were really nice and um, like rainbow pastel colours. I haven't actually got it with me at the moment but um, if you go on my Instagram you'd be able to see pictures of it on there. So I weren't going to get these and then I thought oh everyone's got them so I kind of wanted them as well. Actually I'll put them on my head now because I feel like it's appropriate when you when you do a you know a Disney World video you have the ears on so yeah and they were about 20 something dollars I, I can't remember at the top of my head so yeah um so I decided to get them this is in random order by the way nothing's in the right order but then I got um some Mickey straws also with my snacks and stuff when I had my quick service I had it at can't remember the one place but one of them was the the mexican calf things and if you have the strawberry slushies there you get like free mickey straws so um yeah i got two of them free and then i also picked up a mickey um usa pen because i actually collect these pens like in different animal shapes and all the other ones that they do so I decided to pick this one up as well. This is about $6, six dollars, six, and then plus tax as well. So I picked me one of these up because I do kind of collect the stationery, and obviously it's to you know say I've been to the USA as well. So yeah. Then I brought the the Monsters University cap, and the reason I actually brought this was because I was going to wear it in the parks with like my, my one of my strappy tops and um, shorts, and then when I went 
it decided to rain the rest of my time in Florida. At the moment, in May, it has been absolutely terrible weather. The weather at home was actually sunny and more better than in Florida. So yeah, that's it. that just says it all. So I never got to wear this. I've still got the tags, but I don't actually know the price on the tags. But this was about $30, I'd say. Um, but yeah, so I'll have to keep that for another trip and just take it with me or something. So yeah, good I didn't get to wear this, but it was just really bad, the weather. So that's a different story, which I'm not going into. Then I picked up a pin. Normally when I go on Disney trips, I usually get like loads of pins, but this time I didn't get a lot. Um, just, I don't really know why, maybe because I just spent, like I say, most of my money on makeup, so yeah. But I did get the Pop Century pin because that's where I stopped, if you can just see that there. And that's the place that I stopped in. And this was $10 and then obviously plus tax. And it's like a tradition now, every hotel I go to, I want to get all the pins. I should have got the Art of Animation one because I did go there the, um, a couple of years back, but I didn't get it. But um, apart from that... Disneyland Paris pins I've also got every hotel I've been to. So, yeah. So, that's the only pin I actually did pick up. I did get my niece one as well. I got my niece, like, a Rapunzel pin, but I haven't shown that in the tour. And then, this was free. But it's the Flower and Garden Festival, a little, like, passport thing. And you can just tick off where you've been and that. And I actually loved the Flower and Garden Festival. It's so beautiful, especially when the weather's nice because it's so fun like how many photos you can take there and it just looks so pretty it's it, it's unreal how pretty it looks now there and I did tick off all the food that I did have I had about seven eight things mainly desserts because I think the desserts are better than the food normal food is savoury stuff and I'm normally a savoury fan so that saves it all then I also picked up well I didn't pick up I took it the Walt Disney Resorts pen that you can always keep there so I decided to pick one of these up because I did take one home last time I went but I lost it ages ago because I do like my stationery so yeah I also got a band obviously yeah free band that you get if you're on the dot um on the dining if you have a Disney hotel and I also picked up a keyring the rice crispy chocolate keyring because these were something I was actually obsessed with on this trip and I did have quite a few of them so I decided to pick one up to put on my keyring with my New York keyring so yeah you just see that that's so cool I was going to pick up the princess keyring but then I thought every you know that's like this is a bit different isn't it this is more towards like Disney kind of thing and then I also um I had the dining package for River of Lights my last day and I um dined in Tiffins which is so nice so quiet if you're looking for somewhere that's relaxed nice atmosphere um good enough portions not too big because I do find sometimes with Disney the portions can be massive and it can be a waste of food and I don't like that and um Tiffins is not too much it's small portions and it was enough for me and with the dining package you get a starter a main and a dessert and you know you're originally not going to eat it all but because of the portions being small it was enough for me but anyway if you have the package well I think so anyway they give you a sketch that one of the artists have done from Animal Kingdom and I was given this elephant one and on the back it's like a nice little um information he gave about why when he read this and it says the huge tuskers are almost almost all gone from Africa now because of poaching these sketches were finished long after that fact because the elephants don't stay still for very long before they move on and I just thought that was really really cute and this was actually sketched and it's you can see the fine mark on it in in actual like person and I think it's just lovely so definitely going to keep that and then the last well not last thing I also got this, the two, two some Chocolate Emporium. This is from Universal, but I've just thought I'd throw it in here. And that was when I got the milkshake, which again, you would see if you have me on Instagram. I think I recorded it as well for my vlogs. My vlogs will be coming up in a couple of months. I haven't edited or anything them yet. And then the last thing that I treated myself to that isn't snacks related is the Alex and Arnie bracelet, which was, I think it was 40... 40 something um, in cleaning tax and I decided to pick up the Jiminy Cricket Alex and Arnie and every time I, I I do go to Disney now I probably will be collecting these and it just has like the the Pinocchio quote on there which you're not going to be able to see but it just says when you wish upon a star and it's in this silver 
thing so yeah that was like my little treat to myself because i didn't actually buy a pandora charm this time because my pandora's full and i haven't actually got a new bracelet yet so i was gonna wait for that then moving on to probably the bigger part which is the snacks because obviously if you're on the dining plan you get snacks every day and I went a bit crazy on the snacks. Now everything I'm going to show you, which I'm going to try and show you really quick if I can, is mine. But I can guarantee now there was double this amount and I've actually gave absolutely loads of it away. Loads to my nieces and family. And what I've gotten here will probably not be all for me still as well. It'll probably be shared. So yeah, this bag is literally full of snacks. Literally. So I got me a millennial rice... Um, crispy these are nice these are really nice so i did have a few on like i say on my trip i also got me a m m one which is really that one's the yummiest that's the one I've, i had like a few times i also got me a dark vader snack um snack as well i also got mini sweet chocolate cookies the rainbow rice crispy as well i do like the rice crispies these were probably my favorite as you'll see i also got the mini unicorn pops the assorted salad balls i had a couple of these on holiday as well the red cherry ones are probably my favorite though and the purple ones I've got them another pack of salad balls and some sugar gummy worms, which I've heard really good things about. I haven't actually tried these yet. Uh, sour blaster bits, which is just sour cherry gummy candy, and they're in like the Star Wars pack. I'm not actually a Star Wars lover, but yeah. Sorry for everyone that is. I'm not. And then I got some no more Rice Krispie mini treats again, which were from the hotel. And just thought there's so much here. A chocolate coin, some mini chocolate coins, a lollipop, a pez for myself. I haven't had a pez in years. I actually got my nieces a pez each, but I decided at 22 years old that I wanted a pez too. So I got the Rapunzel one. And that completes the whole of the snacks that is a lot of snacks 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 that's a lot of snacks for one person which I, as i said before i probably will share those out as well but i actually did have double the amount what i've just shown you and i had to give so many of them away i'm surprised my luggage didn't go over but it didn't actually it was only about 16 um so which is really good really so yeah that's everything on my disney world haul um mainly snacks probably more snacks than there was things um my makeup haul will be quite big because i did go a bit like you know crazy in sephora and alter alter room amazing just going off topic a little bit here but yeah the vlogs i have actually vlogged in disney world i don't know if i'm going to do it in two parts or just do it all as a one vlog i need to wait until i can edit it first but they'll be up in the next few months so yeah that's everything for now just enjoying the last of the sun if you're somewhere hot enjoy the weather too and if you're somewhere cold and you like this cold enjoy the cold too that's everything guys bye